That's right, Stephanie Nair, and you see behind me a truck loaded with water. There's one over there that is loaded with uh, food. They're both about to head out from here in West Palm down to the Florida Keys to supply people there. I'm joined by um, Major Pierre Smith with the Salvation Army. So tell me about the process. How are you going to get these trucks down to the Keys? Well, first of all, we thank you for the opportunity. Uh, what makes it possible today, having the food is one, but taking it to Key West, it's another challenge. And fighting that disaster on two front, it's helped, it takes us a lot of resources, but we thank people like uh, the Chinese brothers who came out, who came and helped us supply their trailers to take the food to to Key West. We want to thank them, Kyle and uh, and Laurie Simons, to help so us. So they're out. donating the the trucks and the fuel to get you down there. Exactly, they donated they donated everything. We do have the food, we do have the drink, but they make it possible for the Salvation Army to bring the food to our friends in Key West. Yeah, and a lot of them may have lost some of their cooking facilities. They'll need to be supplied food, but so will the people who are the first responders down there. Exactly. When we are on site, we not only f we feed everyone, regardless of who you are, where you're from we feed you. And this is our mission to feed people in disaster. So you can take these trucks, however, only as far as the road will go. Are there any preparations underway to try to get people who might be on islands? At this, at this we point? are taking this truck from here to uh, uh, Kilago and from Kilago, uh, preparation have been made to escort uh, a cortege to take them where they need to be. All right, thank you very much, Major Pierre Smith with thank the Salvation you. Army. One of the uh, trailers is already hooked up. The other one will be shortly and they'll be pulling out. Back to you, Stephanie and Aaron.